Hey guys, this video is totally random because I wasn't expecting any packages, but my mailman just showed up with this box at my front door and I really don't know who it came from. The return sender is plantstop.us and they're from New Jersey. I have no idea who that company is and how they got my address. It says your ultimate source of rare plants in USA. So let's get to the bottom of this and see who sent this to me. Okay, after taking a better look inside the box, I realized this comes from Aeroid Asia. I have partnered with them in the past and they reached out to me maybe a month or so ago and asked if they could send me some more plants to unbox on my channel. And that's what this package is. I just did not know that they would be shipping from the US. So this is actually really exciting because this is gonna be the first unboxing of 2024, guys. Okay, so they let me choose some plants and then they chose the other plants. These are all the plants right here. And I'm just gonna grab them out randomly, not in any type of order. Okay, so the first one here is the Aglaonema Pictum Tricolor. And they have it in this thick plastic. And then the roots are wrapped up in sphagnum moss. I'm gonna try to be very careful opening this up. Cause I don't wanna rip the leaves of a plant. So they have this tightly wrapped. Um, what I am noticing already is that the plant is super drenched. Like the leaves are very, very wet. And I already see a yellow leaf here. And some of the ones on the bottom are already yellowing. But there's actually quite a few leaves. So that's a good thing. We got about 12 or 13 leaves and there's about three of them that are yellow. So that's not bad. I just hope that the roots are not soggy because I would hate if this plant had root rot. Um, feels okay up here. So it, even if it does have root rot, it may be salvageable, but let me not jinx this. Whoa, it's starting to get messy. That's why I put that towel down. All right, so I moved to another area because it was getting very messy and I didn't want to get anything in my desk chair. So I'm just gonna do this right here. So getting back to the first plant, this is an Aglaonema Pictum Tricolor. And I'm just unwrapping these roots right now. Ooh, the roots look very healthy and clean. All right, so no worries there. The roots are good. Here we go. And this is the plant again. So this Aglaonema Pictum Tricolor has very narrow leaves. I've seen some of these before and 
they didn't have as narrow leaves. So I don't know if it's just because it's a young plant, but it's really, really beautiful. And by the way, this was one of the ones that I chose. Plant looks fairly healthy other than those three yellow leaves. Everything else looks good, roots are fine. So I think this is gonna be fine. Let's move on to the next plant. All right, this is the second plant and this one is the Aglaonema modestum variegated. So let me go ahead and open this one up. Oh wow, look at this. Look at the variegation and that one leaf right there with all that Creamy white, I love it. So it does look like it does have some yellowing on the bottom leaves. Unfortunately, this one has yellowing as well. And this is one of the highly variegated ones. So it looks like four leaves have yellowing, but the top leaves are just fine. And it has a new leaf coming out right here. Look at this. This is a new leaf. Aglaonema modestum variegated. So let me check these roots. This is the messy part here with all this sphagnum moss. Roots look nice and clean. Also, I haven't seen any pests or anything like that on either one of the plants. See, that's why it's good when the plant has quite a few leaves on it and it's being shipped because a lot of times you're gonna lose some leaves. And if you get a plant that only has like three or four leaves on it, your odds are that you're gonna end up losing the whole plant. So this one luckily had quite a few leaves on it because this is a beauty. This is what the roots look like. And here's the plant again. This is my favorite leaf right here. That one was a plant that I chose as well. And here's the next one. This is an Aglaonema rotundum SP. The reason why I chose this is because it looks very similar to the Aglaonema chocolate that I had maybe three years ago and I've never seen them anymore anywhere. They just like completely disappeared. Um, I can't find them and I've been looking for one and this looks very similar. So let me get this one open. So when they asked me to choose some plants, I was very excited because they had quite a few rare aglaonemas on their website and I collect aglaonemas, so that was perfect. So I'm able to add some that I don't already have. So this is what the front of the leaves look like. Guys, do you remember the Aglaonema chocolate? It was out like about three years ago, you can find them. I even saw one at a Home Depot before. And I had one, but I gave it away. 
and I've been looking for another one ever since. And this one really looks like it. The back of the leaves are like a burgundy color and then the front of the leaves are like a really, really deep green with these fine lines. So let me go ahead and open up the roots. All right, so these roots are looking good so far also. Look at the back of that leaf, how pretty that is. Wow, this is a really nice plant. Leave a comment below if you think this looks like the Aglaonema chocolate, if you're familiar with the Aglaonema chocolate. And also let me know if you have the Aglaonema chocolate still, because like I said, I haven't seen that plant in a really long time, but this reminds me of it so much. So once again, that is the Aglaonema Rotundum SP. So I chose the last one also, and this is the next plant. And I believe the last one that I chose, this is the Aglaonema Tricolor. And you can kind of see what it looks like through the plastic. So let me get this open. All right, so this is what the plant looks like. And you probably can see on camera that some of the leaves are also yellow, but it does look like it has quite a few leaves on it. So I'm hoping that I have enough good leaves on here that it leaves me with something. Uh, this one looks good. And this one looks good. The other ones are fair, but for the most part, most of the leaves are yellow. So this one's probably gonna come off and that one is. The other ones can stay. But other than that, this is a beautiful plant. This is the tricolor, so you can see it has the red, white, and green on the leaves. And this one actually has a new leaf coming out right here also. All right, so let me get these roots open. The first four plants are all aglaonemas and I chose them because I collect aglaonemas and these are more of a rare variety. They did a really good job at packaging. Everything was nice and secure. This was from New Jersey. So I know the temperatures are really cold up there, so that could be why there's some yellowing on the leaves and there was a lot of moisture on the leaves. But given all of these circumstances, they aren't all that bad. And I know that with a little bit of TLC, they will be just fine. So these roots are good also. These roots are thicker than on the other ones. Look at that, it's beautiful. Aglaonema tricolor. Okay, so the last plants were chosen by Aeroid Asia for me. And this is how they look in the packaging. There's one big plant right here and I can tell you already, this plant looks beautiful. And I could already tell what genus of plants this is in, but I've never seen this before in person. 
it is a rare plant and it's gorgeous and then it has this little cup that's attached to it so this is most likely tissue cultures so let me try to get this detached and we'll do the tissue cultures last but i'm anxious to open this one this is the Syndapsis hologram. Oh my goodness. Look at those leaves. Can you see that through the paper? I don't know, but let me get it open. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful and it's a really nice size plant. I'm super excited about this one. All right, so check this out. Wow. Look at that variegation. Here's another really good one. Let me go ahead and start opening up the roots and check on that. All right, these roots look really good too. And I'm really excited about this one. Honestly, I wasn't expecting this. I know that they had sent me a receipt with all the plants that they were gonna send, but I don't remember this one being on the list. There's the roots. They look really good. And this is a nice size plant. Obviously it's vining. I could either let this continue to vine or what I might want to do is put this on a moss pole or either a plank because I think that these leaves would probably get so big on a moss pole or a plank. This is very leggy. I mean, it's like one big vine of leaves. And I can't imagine just potting this up like this because it's just gonna be hanging like one string of leaves. So this plant traveled really well. None of the leaves are yellow. And this is a very hardy plant. That leaf is amazing. Look at that one. And then this one is the newest leaf on the bottom. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Wow. Yeah, so unless I were to propagate this, like chop it up and propagate it, there's no way that I would just pot this up because it's just way too long. It's like one long vine. So this is gonna give me an opportunity to do something different for once with my plants. So yeah, guys, that is the Syndapsis hologram last but not least is this little container of tissue culture plants and they are philodendron domesticum variegated and there's five plants so let me go ahead and open this up this is what they look like in here but it's so cute because even though they're super tiny, you can see the variegation on the leaves. Look at that. Look at that, how cute. That one looks like a half moon. I'll pull up what this plant looks like and put it on the screen in case you can't really see it. And if, you don't, if you're not familiar with the philodendron domesticum variegated, this is gonna be a project for me and I'm excited because I'd like to do some new things with my plant collection and it'll be interesting to see how to get these to grow because I've never had any tissue culture from babies before. I'm gonna do some research as well and see what I need to do. I think most likely I'll have to put this in some um, sphagnum moss, but they do have roots already. See the little roots on there? It's 
so that's good. They just basically need to grow. It looks like there's some kind of gel inside of here. All right, guys, so that's all the plants. So I just got a few vases here and I'm just gonna rinse off the roots a little bit and then I'm gonna place them in the vases because I just wanna set them aside for a minute because I really wasn't expecting these plants to come today. I'm gonna use this one for this adapters because it's the tallest one. And then I think I'm gonna just combine all these aglaonemas together for now until I can get back to them. I'll just go ahead and rinse off the roots. So I'm gonna just sit all these in here like a bouquet of flowers, but instead it's a bouquet of aglaonemas. And if I choose to, I can actually just leave them in this water because plants can also be grown in water. But I'll decide what I'm gonna do with these later. Right now, I just wanna get them put to the side so I can clean up and get back to recording this video for you guys so I can give you more information about everything. So after trimming most of the yellow leaves off of the aglaonemas, I also sprayed them down with insecticidal super soap. And then I did add a little bit of fertilizer to the water. And this is what's left of the bunch of aglaonemas. And as you can see, it's a lot smaller, but it does have potential because there you can see there are a few new leaves coming out. And I think I'm gonna just leave them all in the water for now and continue to watch them in the next week or so and see how they are doing. But for now, I think they'll be fine in here and I actually like how they look. So let me know in the comments what you think about this Aglaonema bouquet. If you're interested in purchasing any plants from Aeroid Asia, you can find them on their website at aeroidasia.com. And their Instagram handle is at aeroidasia. I'll leave additional information in the description box as well as a coupon code. If you enjoyed this unboxing video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and share for more plant-related videos. Until next time, thank you guys so much for watching and take care.